In situations where you've created a pitch-oriented instrument that you intend to use to play melodies or harmonies in the project, it's really important that you check the tuning of the sound that you've created before using it. So what I mean by this is I want to be able to make sure that the note that I'm triggering my simpler with is actually the note that I'm getting out of it. So first of all, I need to figure out which note I'm sending in. If I don't know that, I can double click to create an empty MIDI clip, then trigger the note, and then the note that is lit red is the note that I'm getting out of there. So I can see that I'm sending in a C3 right now. Now it's not really important that I know whether or not it's a C2, a C8, or whatever it is, just that it's a C. And that's gonna be the note that I wanna be getting out of my simpler. So now to find out what note I'm getting out of my simpler, I'm gonna to go to the browser, audio effects, and drag and drop in the tuner. Hide my browser. Now when I trigger that same note, I can see that I'm getting an F that's kind of sharp. So I'm gonna come into the controls tab of my simpler to the transposition section and gradually bring it down until I see that it's really close to a C, the note that I'm triggering it with. Now I'm close to a C, now I'm gonna use the D2 knob to bring it in a little bit closer. Right there, I wanna get that dot right in the center of the tuner. And now, check a few other notes. D. Both of those were a little flat, so I'm gonna bump it up one more cent. Looks good. Now I can save my simpler device as a preset and use it inside of my projects, confident that whatever notes I'm writing into the MIDI clip or playing into the synthesizer is gonna be the notes that I get out of it.